Malik McDowell's big chance with the Cleveland Browns has almost certainly ended. The defensive tackle with a long history of off-field trouble is highly unlikely to be retained as an exclusive rights free agent in March because of his latest brush with the law, a person familiar with the situation said Tuesday. McDowell, 25, was arrested at 1.25 p.m. local time on Monday by the Broward Sheriff's Office on charges of indecent exposure in public, resisting arrest with violence and aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer in Deerfield Beach, Florida, according to an arrest report obtained by the BICO. The South Florida Sun Sentinel first reported the arrest. The Browns will continue to gather facts surrounding the arrest. The person familiar with the situation said, that the incident is expected to result in the franchise moving on from McDowell. His one-year contract with the Browns is set to officially expire at 4 p.m. March 16, when free agency begins. We are aware of the very concerning incident and arrest involving Malik McDowell and are in the process of gathering more information, a Browns spokesperson said Tuesday in a prepared. We understand the severity of this matter and our thoughts are for the well-being of all involved. We will have no further comment at this time. Messages seeking comment from McDowell's agents were not immediately returned. McDowell appeared before Broward County Judge Phoebe Francois on Tuesday and was being held at the Broward County Main Jail in Fort Lauderdale on a $31.000 bond as of late Tuesday afternoon, according to court and Broward Sheriff's Office records. An officer whose name was redacted from the arrest report stated he responded Monday to a call about a naked man walking near a school. The officer wrote McDowell had been walking around the street naked exposing his sexual organs in view of the public. McDowell's defense attorney, Adam Swickel, said in the local 10 News video, apparently somebody may have slipped him something or given, McDowell, something that he was unaware of, which explains some of this bizarre behavior. Swickle told the Beacon Journal by phone Tuesday evening, we're investigating the totality of the circumstances. You never know where that's necessarily going to lead. We're obviously exploring all issues related to his arrest, the officer wrote when he arrived at the scene he saw McDowell sitting on the curb. When the officer approached the player, McDowell charged him at full speed and began swinging closed fist punches with at least one strike landing on the officer's right eye and temple area, according to the incident report. I was dazed and felt extreme pain in the area I was struck, the Afik 